Aquarius, hi. First, before we get started, I would like to say welcome back to my subscribers. Um, I was gone for two weeks. Um, I missed you guys. It's just really that sometimes everything was okay. So I do want to say thank you to anybody who did reach out. Um, it's just that sometimes, honestly, I don't have time. Um, the week gets really busy and I love doing these readings, but you know, some weeks are more demanding than others. Um, so welcome back and thank you again for those of you who did reach out. If you are new, welcome. I am your host, Tina, and I do weekly tarot readings. We are going to jump right into it. This one is for July 19th to the 25th as we approach Leo season. Um, all right, we're going to take a look at the recent past current situation and the near future. These are general energies and general readings. Um, all right, Aquarius, I'm going to stop it there then. Ace of Swords is at the bottom. It's a powerful card. Knight of Swords. All right, so we see the mind and the power of the mind coming through. Well, I got a few people here, right? You could be dealing with a bunch of people for some reason, but you have the Knight of Swords, you got the Page of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Um, so there could be a lot of personalities here. Let me just say that. Ace of Swords could be maybe just finding a new way to communicate, having something to communicate. And that could very much be a thing. In the recent past, you have the Knight of Swords. You know, it's a very take in charge, going at something head on, right? Um, maybe not with all plans in place, but the Knight of Swords is a very... Um, action oriented card it's about movement it's about if you have something to communicate if something was wrong or if you got to get something off your chest this is that energy um it can be a bit headstrong right it could be somebody calling somebody out here um so i do feel like there are people around you this week and this is your interactions with them um we'll see the current situation right now you have the page of pentacles your card the star and then you got one of my favorites the wheel of fortune which is also behind me so I feel like, you know, you're, you're making progress here. Again, I feel a lot of action being taken in the recent past. Page of Pentacles is about either you're starting a new project or there is something very new here. There's a new energy. And this is about like, you know, you showing up and doing the work and being open to learning things. If you have to learn things, if it comes to your craft or your skill, whatever it is, there is something here that's got your attention. It's brand new. And I think you're trying to make progress towards it with that page of pentacles um, or you're considering it. There is, um, so it's not far in at all with the page of pentacles. It's more, it feels like consideration, more entertaining it than anything else. Um, the star is here as well. So this can really be something that like, especially with the wheel of fortune, um, this could be something that's like a real heart's desire. Uh, maybe you're not talking about it for some reason. I don't know why I said that, but this, you know, with, with the page of pentacles and then I, I see the star on the wheel of fortune, it's like, ah, oh, if this were to come true, everything could change for you, but like for the better, like you could just foresee a lot of growth and expansion here. Um, you know, and, and the wheel of fortune is about cycles, right? It's about really closing one door for another door to open. Um, and it's ruled by Jupiter, so it's luck and it's growth. Um, and I, I think whatever this is, is bringing a little hope and faith back in. And, and that's what it kind of feels like here. In the near future, you get the Four of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and then you get the Queen of Cups here, right? So again, it's, it's people here can be, you, you've got Earth sign, you've got every element. The Knight of Swords, you've got the Air signs. Page of Pentacles, you've got the Earth signs. Knight of Wands, you've got the Fire signs. Queen of Cups, you got the water signs. So psh, got the rainbow here. Um, but yeah, the four of cups is under this page of pentacles. And so that's giving me these vibes of like, just entertaining it, like just flirting with this idea. Um, you could, I don't know, it's not something you've said yes or no to. That's why I'm like, it's just beginning stages. I feel like it's just something that's starting to take space up in your mind or in your heart, right? Um, and that's where we're at. But it's, it's, it's something about not liking what's in front of you either with that Four of Cups, right? Which is leading to a little bit of unmotivation. And, and you could be excited and then just have a moment of like, Ugh. right? What's that chart like when they show success? And they're always like, we always think it's like this straight line from the bottom to the top. But it's always like, do, 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 right? And, and, and it's like the highs and lows. Um, so it kind of gives me those vibes. Under the star, you get the Knight of Wands. Um, so this is just an energy of, 
you know, with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, this is these are both very action-oriented cards. So if you're not dealing with people, this is about taking a lot of action. Um, I think if you were indecisive, you you make a decision here with that Knight of Wands quickly, almost impulsively, right? Um, or either that, or I don't want to say impulsive. It usually is with the Knight of Wands, but it almost feels like with instinct, right? It's like you sit in this place and you're making space for what to do. What are you going to choose? And then like with instinct, you just perk up and you start moving right in that direction. Queen of Cups is here under the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever these changes are, I think there is emotional maturity around them, um, whether it's around you accepting them, the way you're embracing them. If it's a person, this is a lovely energy, right? There's a very supportive, nurturing energy. So whoever this is, this is a fantastic person to have around you especially while you're undergoing changes in your life, you know, especially while there's unpredictable energies. All right, let us go in and clarify for you. Clarify for Aquarius, um, July 19th to the 25th. Please clarify for Aquarius. Okay. Okay, we will, of course, stop there. Three of Cups was at the bottom. Ten of Pentacles. The Magician. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Eight of Cups. Yeah. All right, Three of Cups is at the bottom. That's supportive energy. That's fun, reason to celebrate. But I don't think we're there yet. Uh, recent past ten of pentacles and the knight of swords um you know could be charging in when it comes to family um i just feel like it's related to like building your legacy and when i say legacy i'm not saying everybody's going to be like jeff bezos but it's like what is your life going to mean what have you worked towards right what do you leave behind what can you share with those right what can you pass along to the next generation if, if it relates to you you know that's the Ten of Pentacles, right? Um, so it could be family, it's, it's, it's your legacy. What is your life and what do you leave behind? And the Knight of Swords, again, is I feel like you're just ready to take action here. You're ready to take action. Um, now, clarifying the current situation, you get the Magician, you get the Nine of Swords, and you get the Eight of Cups, right? So we spoke of changes, we did, and I think with the Magician, these are changes that you are trying to manifest here. The magician is clarifying that page of pentacles so you got really the power of the mind here on your side so whatever it is in your mind's eye it could currently just be on a vision board it's again it just feels like it's a heart's desire here um but you are entertaining it and you're about like you're kind of at this place like am i gonna pour my energy into all of this am i gonna leave behind something that i've already worked really hard on because the eight of cups is here to move in this new direction and it is not easy Clarifying the star is the nine of swords, right? So there is stress around whatever this like big wish is. Um, I feel again, big life goals. I feel like those are the things that are coming along. But listen, the star is gonna trump, it's a trump card. It's gonna trump the nine of swords. The nine of swords is the day to day, right? The star is a major energy and it's really supportive. So, and then you know what's great is anytime there is a nine of swords i always recommend like talking to somebody who's really great at listening and you know what kind of energy is really great at listening is this queen of cups so if this person is around you tap into them right lean lean on a shoulder let it out talk it out you'd be surprised like how much weight is lifted if that is the case for you now clarifying the wheel of fortune is the eight of cups so obviously we want to leave a situation behind here your hope in the hopes that it brings about growth, brings about positive outcomes and good things to come, right? In the hopes that you get rid of some bad luck and bring in some good luck, kind of like that, you know? Um, the Eight of Cups, though, is not easy because it's something that once made you really happy, something that you've already poured a lot of energy into, right? Um, you've invested your heart into it. And now it's like, after all that, to walk away. But I do remind people that with the Eight of Cups, um, it doesn't always mean that you're burning a bridge. Sometimes you're just, you gotta go do you, right? And, you, you, and that requires separation. But that doesn't mean that you don't circle back. Um, so just keep that in mind. And, and as I say that, the Wheel of Fortune is what, a big circle, right? So I just wanna point that out. Also the Wheel of Fortune being a powerful trump card, 
trumping that eight of cups so i just want to remind because in the day to day sometimes we lose the big picture um and by we i mean me so projection i guess but no all right in the near future your clarifying cards are the four of swords the two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles we need to heal right it's a big decision i feel like you're trying to make or there's something big in you that you're trying to bring about and i love i love that the two of pentacles is clarifying this knight of wands so it's gonna help balance that impulsive energy right yes i did say instinct so if you are trusting your instincts trust them but I see the Nine of Swords above it, so I, I want to say that it could be like thoughts and ego that could be um, taking over. So that Two of Pentacles is going to bring in that balance. It's going to say, should I, should I not? I want to jump in, should I not? Right? Should I plan a little bit more? Should I make sure I, you know, cross my T's and dotted my I's? So while it feels like indecision, I think it's also bringing balance to something that could be impulsive. And now clarifying the Four of Cups in the near future, you get the Four of Swords. These both speak of like pause when it comes to what you're manifesting with that magician, when it comes to whatever new things you want to bring about and create. You got an idea in your mind here, Aquarius, and you want to bring it to life. But the Four of Swords is like, okay, we got to heal. Let's take a break. Regain your strength. Um, and I think, I think it's needed because there is a lot of stress, both mental and for some of you, emotional as well, related to making these changes, um, which is only natural, right? Um, we only grow in uncomfortable spaces and this feels like a little bit of an uncomfortable space but again that is where the growth is so the four of swords it just speaks of healing energy as does the star right so if there is a time where you could kind of pause and reflect and treat yourself and just take a break and make some space by all means aquarius that's a cosmic welcoming right now on your spread it's like do it if you can make the space to take a break take it now Finally, clarifying the Queen of Cups, you get the Seven of Pentacles. So this is you, again, really just kind of ready to change direction, ready to stop pouring and investing yourself into a situation that you feel like is just not working anymore. Um, and, and there are certain areas where you're going to certainly see parts of your life that are really just taking off. You know, after you've put in the work, you could really start reaping the rewards with the Seven of Pentacles. But with all these other cards, this is more about like, getting ready to either pull the plug on a situation right that's that's kind of what it feels like and then with that queen of cups energy either it's available to you through you know your higher self with that queen of cups or there is somebody around you who is really a great shoulder to lean on and again if they are around take it but yeah this is this is growth through this is discomfort excuse me this is discomfort through growth and um that's it. I'm going to leave it there for you, Aquarius. Um, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a comment down below. I like to read those. Um, as always, thank you, and I'll see you next week.